All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at um, this section. So this section, we're going to talk about maxes and mins. And so we've kind of already talked about this um, in a previous section where we talked about at the vertex of any parabola, you have the maximum or the minimum value. <clears throat> and a lot of it depends upon what the value of a is. So if a is bigger than zero, which that is the case in this particular example, then we have a minimum. So a being bigger than zero means that we have a minimum. If a was less than zero, then we'd have a maximum. Okay, so what value does the maximum or minimum occur? And that's the value of x that I'm looking for. So we're going to use for part two, x equals negative b over 2a. So negative of negative 8 over 2 times 4. So 8 over 8, which is equal to 1. So at x is equal to 1, our, our minimum value um, occurs there. And then what I want to do is what is the maximum or the minimum value? So that is the y value. So I'm going to plug in 1 in for my x's. So I get 4 minus 8 plus 3. So I get negative 4 plus 3, which is negative 1. And so the minimum value is negative 1. Okay? Again, now, here with this one, um, it's like, okay, well, what's the a value? Well, a is supposed to be um, in front of the x squared. I have no x squared term yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this out. Now, there are other ways of doing this, and I'll show you, like, in the end, um, you could have just looked at this and gotten what the value was, but um, whether well, it was a max or a min, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to multiply this out because we're going to need it anyways. Okay, so I have, I'm going to multiply out the x plus 1 and the x minus 3, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute that negative to both terms. So I have x squared plus x minus 3x minus 3. So x squared minus 2x minus 3. And then I'm going to distribute a negative to this. So y is equal to negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. So yes, my a value is less than 0. So for part 1, a is less than 0. So this is a maximum value. And then negative b over 2a. So x is equal to negative of 2 over 2 times negative 1. So negative 2 over negative 2, which is 1. So x is equal to 1 is my value. And then 3, so y is equal to negative 1 squared plus, oops, 2 times 1 plus 3. So this gives me negative 1 plus 2 plus 3. So that's 1 plus 3, which is equal to 4. Okay? All right, so now the next one. Okay, so a rectangular dog pen is made with using a barn on one side and 60 meters of fence. So when in doubt with a word problem, go and draw a picture. Oops. Okay, so one side is the wall, and I have 60 meters of fence, so I want to know what the largest um, area is. Okay, so if one side is x, then the other side is x, and then what's this bottom side here? Well, this bottom side here is going to be 60 meters of fence minus, I have two X's on each side. So I want to know what the dimensions are that gives us the largest area. And so I'm going to write a formula for area. So area is equal to length times width. So that is X times 60 minus 2X. So I can distribute. 60x minus 2x squared. Rearrange this. So I have negative 2x squared plus 60x. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the um, vertex. So x is equal to negative 60 over 2 times negative 2. So 60 over 4, which is 
somebody. Um, my brain is not working today. Which is 15. I almost put 12. I was like, that's not right. Okay. So X is equal to 15. I want the dimension. So one side is 15. So one side is 15 meters. And then the other side is 60 minus 2 times 15. So that is 60 minus 30, which is 30 meters. So the dimensions are 15 meters by 30 meters. Okay. So now we don't have um, one side being the fence. We literally just have a rectangle. That's not a good... I did not draw that very well. Oh my gosh, what is it doing? Oh my. Okay. So now here's my rectangle. And so if one side is X, the other side is X, then this side is not a 60. Just kidding. 100 minus 2x divided by 2. So now my area is x times 100 minus 2x over 2. Ooh, sorry about that. Okay, so area is equal to 100x minus 2x squared all divided by 2. So area is 100x over 2 minus 2x squared over 2. So area is equal to 50x minus x squared. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this area is equal to negative x squared plus 50x. So x is equal to... Um, negative B over 2 times negative 1. So this gives me a positive 25. So if one side is 25, then the other side is 100 minus 2 times 25 over 2. So that is 100 minus 50 over 2, which is 25. So the dimensions, or just one of the values of x. So the value of x, so x is equal to 25. And then the area is 25 squared. So that's 625 uh, feet squared. Okay. And then the last one here is um, when does the ball hit the ground? So that is when your height is equal to zero. So then zero is equal to, I'm going to factor out a negative five. I'm left with t squared minus 11t. And then um, minus... 12. Okay. So now I can factor. So negative 11 and top, negative 12 on the bottom, negative 12 and 1. So 0 is equal to negative 5 t minus 12 and t plus 1. So t is equal to negative 1 and 12. I can't have t being a negative value, so t is equal to 12 uh, seconds is when the ball hits the ground. Okay, and then when is the ball at its maximum height? Um, so, um, so that what that does is that's looking at the vertex. So if I look at the vertex of my parabola, so and I can use the you know the already um, 
factored version if I want. Or if it makes you feel better, we can go back to negative uh, 55 over 2 times negative 5. And that's fine. Like, if it makes you feel better to do it that way, that's fine. So this gives me negative um, 55 over a negative 10. So then they both are divisible by 5. Um, 11 over 2. So what is the ball's maximum height? That's the x coordinate right now of um, the vertex. So I need the actual y value. So I need the height value. Um, so I'm going to take and I'm going to plug in to get the height. I need to plug in negative or positive 11 over 2 in for all of my t's. So this gives me negative 5 times 121 over 4. Plus, um, I'm going to have to do 11 times 55. 5, 5, 5, 5, um, 5, 605. So 605 over 2 plus, uh, we'll say 240 over 4 because I'm going to have to find a common denominator anyways. Um, 5 and 121 is 5. Zero six zero oh, five over four plus um, six zero oh, five times two twelve twelve ten that's negative twelve ten over four plus two forty over four so this gives me six zero oh, five over four plus two forty over four so six zero oh, five and two forty gives me. 845 over 4, and this is meters. And that is the maximum height. And I can go ahead and erase all of my arithmetic and pretend like it doesn't exist. And pretend we did it all in our head. Okay, and that is it for this lesson.